And fuck the NFL is what I'm saying. I, fuck the NFL, period. <laughs> End of story. Folks, it's Tuesday night. Welcome aboard. Between the Rolls is going live, although looking a wee bit different tonight. Uh, as most of you may know, we finished up the campaign on Saturday. Thank you, Jesus. And that will be the bulk of this show. Dun, da, da, uh, dun, 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 dun. We're done. We're fucking fucking done. Yeah. Let's, let's start with follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us on Discord, uh, the link is somewhere there. If you want to buy our cool stuff. How's that, Carol? Cool stuff. It uh, is. The link I is down I love the there. sweatshirt, man. Most importantly... If you want to be on a one shot, December Saturdays are all one shots. Yeah. Uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. Hit us up. We'll get you on there. Kyle is running a fifth edition with pre gens this I Saturday. Uh, <clears throat> he is going what? to be stripping <laughs> his clothes off. So, what? Woo! 28 uh, wait, degrees. Wait for it to come out on just audio. Uh, and again, we do have all of, or some of our podcasts bear with me, uh, are now audio streamed, uh, tinyurl.com, mhobo, inc, audio, uh, for that link to our pod bean. Uh, thanks pirate dog dice for not letting the dice kill these guys against my better judgment. And of course, uh, oddfishgames.com. Uh, if you want to play out RPG with your cat this Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, yeah. check our website for the free link sign up. It's free. You just got to sign up to make sure they know how many people they got. So check them out. Also, if your game stinks, uh, look up their Adventure Sense and make your game uh, smell a whole lot better, except what I got, Kyle, that arrived today. Yeah! Guess who's getting putrid sewers, bitch? That's My right. wife! Yeah! <laughs> Somebody's Wait. getting a stocking stuffer. Here, Arlo, chew on these. Kids, oh. don't chew on Adventure Sense. Uh, let's introduce you to the three out of four members that showed up, because <laughs> Chris is probably passed out. We will start with Kyle. Kyle, who are you and who did you Drink play? So much. Poor Chris is. <sighs> He's Canadian. I'll try to get him to AA, a, but. A A A. It's A A A in Canada. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Kyle. I played Dewey Docamel, the live barbarian, <clears throat> uh, uh, who was the true hero last week and did everything he was supposed to. Hero. Yeah. Did great. Yeah. Uh, next up is Ernest. Ernest, who are you and who did you play? Uh, so my name's Ernest, and for the last, what, <laughs> year and a half now, I've been playing Lucas, the, uh, Wood Elf Anti-Druid. 43 and, uh, episodes, bitch. <laughs> 43 episodes, yeah. Multiply that times two, two and a half, that's a lot of hours. Last, but certainly not least, Eileen, I mean, Carol, <laughs> Come on! Such a dick. <laughs> yes. You didn't answer my Twitter. I don't know. Did you even laugh at my response to your Twitter? To your I, Twitter? I did laugh at it. Who were? Who are you? And who did you play? Hi everyone. My name is Carol. In this reality, uh, I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, <laughs> and a commission Vinny painter. And I played uh, Taryn. My one-legged asshole. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Do not blame me. Dice. Do no, not blame me. No, no, no. no. I'm blaming you for the Eileen jokes. I'm not blaming you for the friggin'. I'm really surprised I haven't caught more shit from people. Oh, that's just wrong. Whatever. <laughs> no. Well, anybody watching knows it was a, a dice thing. It wasn't. And it, it makes sense. But anyways, my... Yes, my half elf, my half, <laughs> half wood elven, half uh, high elven bard. Damn and it. all of you lived. That's the really weird fucking part about it. No, it wasn't. All of these guys lived. We uh, got it done. We also had another game on Sunday, our tri-generational game. Uh, the Margu campaign featured the individuals choosing to go to Fatar, the total capital, in their stolen turtle warship their choice not mine uh they did manage to dock it in a small cove head in and they discovered a group of no not more drug dealers these were just smugglers 
who ended up catching their uh, favorite gnome and mount with all their shit on it. Uh, and they have made a deal to go meet the big wig of the smuggling operation, even though Fatar is preparing for war with the tabaxi. So these guys are in way over their head, even though they're mostly only halflings and gnomes. Uh, but catch them on Saturdays right around 4, 4.15. Uh, three generations of players uh, dealing with each other the best way d and know how by splitting the fucking party. Uh, <laughs> tonight, uh, rather than talk about a subject or in the future, uh, background slash session zeros for the one shots that we'll be playing, we're going to talk about episode 173, <clears throat> General Io, the completion of the campaign. As we pointed out, 43 episodes in, these guys were tasked originally with delivering a simple item. Instead, they broke a box and unleashed evil upon the world and set off to go ahead and reclaim evil and capture it in the magical box. Uh, among their Great many job, Carol, with that. <laughs> That's right. With among, the <laughs> among many of the trials and tribulations that they pushed upon themselves, they had to find three pieces of an ancient artifact, reassemble it at great pain to themselves, and use it to capture evil this this time in the form of General Io, the what do you, what do you what shall we call General Io, the the emperor King of, of immigration, uh, dictator Dick, of Bolton, Dick Extraordinaire. Uh, yeah. But these guys uh, finally did get their shit together over the course of forty three episodes and went into Fulton. Uh, who wants to streamline what happened this past Saturday? Kyle, would you do it? Or Lucas, hey, either one I'm of really you trying it. to remember what happened. <laughs> oh, oh my God. yeah, we went to the library. Oh, no, first the sorcerer lady. Yeah. Who everyone was like, let's run away. Let's run away. We want, yeah, but I wanted to, to save and they tried resources. To run away yeah, and, and save resources, but they ended up spending more resources. <laughs> you All it took was an axe to the head, it turns out. You saves a lot of oh, resources. we could have got around it, and you friggin' charged right back in there. Could we have gotten around it though? It, I, yeah, it would we have been were... difficult, would have been a lot of things, and she would have flown <laughs> around <laughs> chasing <laughs> us. Exactly, <laughs> she would have had a headdress of Manise feathers, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. but after that, we uh ran to the library as quick as we could because the staff brought us there where Dewey was confronted with his other evil father figure. My two fathers. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. I don't know. Who uh, uh, we found crucified, clawed open, and poisoned. Oh, so there was really no talking to him, and we had uh, uh, a timer to be on. That Didn't big he blame midnight. you or something? Didn't he blame Dewey for not being there for him or something? Yeah, and didn't he also like poison himself? Yeah, that's what I said. He poisoned himself. Yeah. I don't think and he had a demon rip him. I don't think he did. He have wait. He had all that happen to himself. Uh, that's what I pictured was a burning library in the center room, and hanging from the chandelier with claw marks in his chest poison on his lips and just be like <laughs> you don't get to do and finish the job yourself do we i think that is a reasonable uh affirmation of what happened yeah yeah and don't forget I mean, the beheaded acolytes oh there were a lot of beheaded acolytes wait were the ac what acolytes there were 10 librarians in all of your of brothers life. yeah <laughs> well, well, were brothers. they from the the they library? were not from Andorra, no. Were they from uh, just this They've library there, in assume. particular? Mm -hmm. Cult of, cult of uh, Dorogenes? Angry Dorogenes? Cult of Dorogenes. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. I mean, <laughs> you didn't have to fight them. Do. That's, that's true. Uh, we wouldn't have... Uh, <clears throat> I would have ran away from that fight, honestly. <laughs> you never know, man. There was like 14 people on that chasm one day, and you ripped your dog in half. 
and just decided to take them on solo. You mean the hobgoblins? <laughs> when because, I because Chris can bring him back. Oh, I don't have that stone. Yeah. <laughs> that was right. That was. <laughs> that Hold on. Before we start going into the memories, let's uh, yeah. finish, okay. let's finish the, right finish the episode. <laughs> Uh, uh, after that we found out that the staff was not leading us to the library but past the library where the slums had been torn down and turned into a beautiful palace for General Io where we encountered his guards who were so smug and sure of themselves I didn't catch that part because I had to pee really bad because it went over two hours really? that's really? a lie. I, I, I just about shit my pants, honestly. <laughs> uh, Didn't need that, to know. Uh, they then took us to General Io, uh, where we <laughs> had a pretty straightforward fight. Uh, uh, a good fight, some though. challenge and everything like that. A force wall that wasn't a force wall. Uh, uh, and lightning bolts galore. Uh, the bad guy turning ethereal every once in a while. Uh, honestly, I think uh, 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 I is Dewey, and I don't know how bad Lucas or uh, how you did, Ernie. Uh, well, I got fucked up causing... in one swipe when you I was a really bear. You really did. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we got fucked up really, really easily <clears throat> with him. Yeah. And I don't know, did we actually do any damage, or was it really reliant on putting him in the box or we were fucked he, he had an abnormal amount of hit points yeah, he bumped it up no well, really? no actually uh really? i have it yeah i have an npc guide that i got somewhere god only knows uh night so conqueror no gorilla scout no uh yeah i where was he but yeah io was bad ass and i didn't design him he was just holy redeem holy redeemer maybe no he he's something like, keep talking I'll, I'll find it i mean okay. he had legendary action sovereign <laughs> knight <laughs> it was about time we one. saw our legendary actions in that campaign in this campaign too sure well, we had got to do a little what you had bit of magic. We had the glowing amulet that refused to uh, let uh, uh, General Io get captured by the box. Until it just, stopped glowing. Until it stopped glowing. And yeah. I'm wondering, was that because it ran out of charges or because Dewey stabbed it with a magic dremel? Charges. Charges. Shit. Yeah. No, you were you were cutting it around, anyways. I don't think you actually stabbed. It. Yeah, because it was in the breastplate, and that's where I tried to do heat metal, and he just kind of <laughs> yeah evaporated. <Let> go. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but we ended up winning today. The staff exploded into tiny little pieces, knocking out our three cleric. Pieces. Tiny little pieces. Three, pe three pieces. The same three pieces. Tiny. They're tiny. One was like a pebble. One was like a little bobble, and one was just a rod. And so that seems tiny to me. <laughs> Stop a little mansplaining me, Taryn. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I left my name on as Taryn. Blew up, and uh, Taryn and the Manis went down, and luckily uh, <laughs> with some terrible rolls, <sighs> Taryn survived. So oh God. Manis. Uh, in fact, Maniz was so upset about it, which is why Chris didn't show up tonight. <laughs> he really wanted to be the one who died. He got gout. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Yeah. Tara oh, lost and, uh, a leg and he got Taren gout. Lost was a close. leg. Peg. <laughs> Peg but, lost but, a leg. <laughs> but, but, does anybody actually think that it, that the way it played out was the way it should have? That I was the one that got the worst straight? Because, I mean, let's face it, I'm standing there holding it. Oh, hey. Carol's taking over the show with my questions. Yeah, there we go. Gosh, That's a good hey. question, though. I the guy giveth and the guy Finish. taketh away. <laughs> Thank you. It's a nice one, too, because it shows... I really think like, that's really cool. There's the guy who lost his hand. Oh, that's one, right? A heart attack. I mean, I if the dice didn't fuck everyone over, I was gonna. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting for that. So, <laughs> yeah. so Carol brings up Me a good too, point. Me too, honestly. <laughs> Carol brings up a good point. Did it end the way it should have ended in your minds? We'll start with uh, Ernest first. Um, yeah, actually, surprisingly, I, I thought we came out of the general IO fight 
better off than I expected. Um, now that that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I no. felt a cool sense of accomplishment afterwards, but I was going into the fight thinking that my character had like a 50, 50 shot. It was going to be dead. Um, so yeah, I, I think it turned out pretty well, mm. not how I expected, but in a good way. Well, you only ended up with 12 hit points left, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. No well, wild shape. One more shape. good wallop. And, uh... <laughs> well, that, that was the thing. I went down in hit points faster than I expected. Each hit to so much damage, especially with that radiant damage. Yeah. And uh, so I had cure wounds ready at higher spell slots, but I didn't have a chance to use it because that last hit happened right there at the end. Very good. But, Carol, uh, yeah. did it end the way it should have? In terms of the fight or the campaign itself? Campaign itself. You know me. I would love to have gone on. So, Kyle. Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, finally, I have time Come to on. talk. <laughs> fine. For, fine. Go to him. No, it's no. you. Come on, Terry. All right, all right. We love you. Uh, so, okay. So, to me, there's a lot. I'm actually... Sad. It's over. Criticize. No, no, no. I'm and that's sad. fine. I that I do not mind criticism. You know what? Consi- you. It's like you drop hair. Now this is not bad. Okay. Anybody who knows me knows that if a GM drops my uh, characters no into a very dark place, <laughs> that it's it's a lot of fun for me to try to play out. But you drop me to bad place, and I have no way out. Because there's no more game. And that's the big thing. And I thought about, you know, it would be really cool if I could actually, especially with all the controversy these days uh, with that battle wheelchair. Do you, do you remember um, somebody made a battle wheelchair? Mm-hmm. And then they got a ton of flack because, well, characters can't be disabled. There's too many spells. And it's like, and here's the perfect opportunity to illustrate how it possibly can happen. I'm in a city that this is not getting rectified. And it's like, and it's sort of, it's sort of a bummer because I would love to try to play a disabled character, you know, a disabled adventure. And oh, that's, oh. and, I will and then write that down for any one shots you play in from now <laughs> but that's on. That's a Carol. one shot. I want to do something a little longer. And they said, the other thing is just. Um, for two shots as well. I have, the other thing is, there's a lot of questions left in terms of, did she find her family? You know, we know more or less what I was up to. He released her. Yeah, well, that you know, all that and ha- having her deal with all that stuff and try and triumphing. Is she trying to laugh? Yeah, oh, I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, I know. Headless I mean, I mean, I as a player knows. I know for sure. She and the way I'm playing is she's pretty sure that they're all gone, except for her brother. Now that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you should just stay up north. She never told him anything. He was in the leave, north. Leave him the fuck. You actually were hinting He was guarding the wall too. against some John Snow with fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he's alive. He's but, a little blue now. But you've made it pretty much everyone else is dead, including your boyfriend that you saw, what, an hour before? Yep. Well, you'll find out here in a minute. Uh, I'm pretty sure. With I the battle wheelchair, Ooh. the campaign was designed to end at this yeah. encounter so there was no oh you know i want to keep playing no the answer is no uh kyle last uh, did the campaign end the way it should have Ooh, yeah i like i said i want to know where the characters go in a nice little yeah. epilogue mm-hmm. but, yeah, uh, exactly. tonight is. oh it is tonight <laughs> yeah yep. no, i was uh, uh I was happier with uh, the campaign um the boss fight to me and i think <laughs> and this is going to be a criticism that's what oh no i, love I, I the bet, boss I, bet fight. I know what he says and i bet he's 100 right i love that boss fight by the way it was interesting. uh is not a melee fighter's uh uh dream and that's really what makes <laughs> uh, uh, uh what was i gonna say i lost it uh, you're going to tell me how, uh, in spite of me fucking forgetting a few certain facts on the character sheet, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, no. I, I survived anyway. You survived anyway. I'm in the box, bitches. That box comes open. I'll be hunting you down. <laughs> we're going to a volcano. And we're going to you know, drop that box in there. Yeah. 
that's why I, that's why I'm hoping maybe someday we'll see a return to these characters because yeah. I don't I'm not convinced the box will stay closed. There you go. Uh, yeah. So sorry, I remembered what I was talking about. Um, I thought the ending was good as far as the final boss fight. Um, uh, uh, the thing I pro I didn't really enjoy it quite as much as anything else, and that was probably because. Uh, he was both a melee fighter and a wizard, and he disappeared, and you're not letting the tank be a tank necessarily. And although, to be fair, uh, Dewey was not uh, resistant to radiant or necrotic damage, and he ended that fight with 11 hit points left. Wow! Which I can save. I get to roll advantages <laughs> on all of my mental saves. I have a super high con. I, I was pretty min max there, except for the fact that, as if it wasn't <laughs> bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage, I was fucked royally. <laughs> and uh, that was that. But uh... yeah, my my goal, and I don't think I yeah, yeah. I don't think I hit it on the head, was. General Io doesn't consider you fuckers a threat, so he's wow. just going to mess with you. That's sure. why his guards were told, go away. That's why he kept popping in and out. Uh, and the, most of those were granted by the amulet. Once that amulet got broken and was used up, he, he was going to start whipping it out. Uh, but you did tackle him twice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but whipping yeah. Whipping it out. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, I I, I too I, had mixed, <laughs> yeah, I had mixed feelings on the ending, mm -hmm. um, and 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 none of it was directed at you guys. Uh, as we all know, I hate fifth edition rules. Uh, for me to have to do 120 hit points to kill somebody is horseshit. Um, and, and not that I wanted anybody to die, but I, I always find a heroic story is made better when the hero dies because he gave everything he had to save everybody else. Uh, in this case, you came so free. You, you know, if you had just upped the damage from that, because it's an artifact, dice giveth, you, dice giveth away. You could have done, away. you could have done a hundred points of damage. I think that could have, and that would have killed that would. That would have taken uh, out more than one of us, I'm sure. Uh, to both satisfy what I wanted as a player and mm -hmm. to satisfy what you wanted and actually killing somebody, uh, I think you could have easily uh, went after Dewey and ended him. <laughs> and I as a player would be satisfied, but also there'd be a, oh yeah, but Dewey's also a zealot barbarian, so as long <laughs> as there's a third level spell left, Revivify, he's back in the game. Although with Maniz having his ass kicked at the end, <laughs> but I figured then again, I'd kill you know, Maniz. it's any it's oh, any life giving spell, and Dewey would have been back on his feet without any real work, just a long rest. Yeah, because you were what two hundred and fifteen hit points to kill. No, that's one hundred and thirty five. No. Yeah. <laughs> Both ways. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, well, if you guys, you went in yeah. full, didn't you? So oh, I had to get you to one thirty-five and then one thirty. Yeah. Well, but but what there is a way around that though is you take him to zero and then you just you keep focusing you hit him on again. Him. Yeah, you hit him two more that's times the, and lop yep. his head off. Yeah. That's how you do it, and that's I mean that's that's how I seen it done. You know, it's, it's exactly how you do it is you have to focus on somebody. Well, I I always choose to get the next threat. I, and that's just me in real life. I mean, if you're unconscious, fuck you. I got bigger problems here. I'm still <laughs> outnumbered. So next question up is what would have made it better? Ernest. Uh, I think that Can we were we limited please? on time, but if it weren't for the fact that we were limited on time, I think it would have been cooler to have maybe more squishy minions before the final battle mm. instead of just one big you know magic caster that we were trying to avoid it would have been cool if we maybe stumbled upon you know some squishies to maybe that, take a first level slot or two a couple hit points but but just kind of build up well and I, do you think the sorcerer pro didn't provide enough because she started a wall up your asses yeah no the sorcerer was fine um <laughs> i realized the sorcerer was pretty powerful after that first hit 
where you know yeah. I failed my save and I'm like, <laughs> well, there's a river here. There's easy ways to avoid this. <laughs> Like, yeah. uh, why, why don't we try alternate methods instead of, you know, wasting spell slots? But I, I agree, me. like, that that could have been the challenge. That could have been the, the minion. I was just thinking more of, like, you know, skeleton or goblin level, you know, like, a couple swipes, they're, they're out of the way. Mm. Maybe, like, yeah, a that, that, that would have taken forever, though. Yeah, uh, I see it, those saying. big combat. I mean, when you guys face, to backtrack, when you guys face the hobgoblins, there were 15 fucking hobgoblins. That was too hours that a, yeah that was pretty oh, rough yeah. hours and it's you, like uh, <laughs> and I, I didn't even fight the first round i'm like what are these idiots doing and you guys are oh, two hours for 15 and it's and that's why i generally avoid I, this campaign has taught me any large groups whew, it's gonna take forever no unless somebody yeah. says hey fireball <laughs> okay good you've you've wiped them out but no i i like that idea i i did want to keep you guys to a timetable just to make sure it's like well you know let's take up residence in this place and you know let's form an underground and then go attack so i i wanted to put the the brakes on that care or yeah carol what could i have done better or what what would have been a better part well i, I mean i said my piece, i said my piece <laughs> about the i i mean i said i enjoyed it uh, at more time uh, epilogue would have been better otherwise i don't know i can't really think of anything i like that i get actually uh kyle's point about being a fighter in that last fight because yeah if i was him i would have just been so flipping annoyed after a while uh every time i go to hit this thing just disappears and then goes and because that was his point he was supposed to tank so i could just freaking operate the you know operate the the staff with my knees behind me i was gonna kill freaking chris from running at the damn forest wall with the box open like that's not how it works breaking his nose <laughs> and oh my the box. god <laughs> I love well, you. The, oh my god now. yeah the good news is uh you now save 50 percent on all of your shoes so <laughs> i want to oh kinda... i wait i do want to say i love that by the way i said it again i love that i love when bad shit happens to good characters and and this uh, this I, I've been thinking about running my brain and going, wow, this is a really, maybe you didn't kill anybody, but I think that's still a huge loss and to go with all yeah. the other huge losses that Definitely. she's dealing with. It's freaking awesome. That's... Sorry, go ahead, Lucas. Go ahead, Ernie. Yeah, no, I, I just Lucas. wanted to add, um, you know what you and Kyle said earlier just kind of clicked with me, how you said that fighting General Aya wasn't the best for, you know, a melee fighter. And I was just thinking back on this entire game, I, I relied on my wild shapes, more of like a, a melee, you know, attack form. And at the very last battle, I was basically out of wild shapes and forced to fight completely differently from how I fought the entire campaign so far. So that, that was interesting. <laughs> oh. That was that was not Bear. by accident. My yeah. bear's gone. <laughs> In one hit, all 42 hit points of my bear. <laughs> one <right>. strike. <laughs> you know what though? You know what I have to say though? I like fights and things like that that make you think outside of the box. You that you just can't go in and do what you normally do. I like interesting challenges. And I thought I did. I thought this was an interesting challenge. But said That's I do get Kyle's point of view too. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I like doing the teleport to pop in behind you. And that just was horrible. Like a cue from Star Trek: The Next Generation, dickhead. Oh, and it's like, he, oh, hey guys. <laughs> and he took me from what, like thirty something, because I only have fifty-seven. No, I think it was somewhere in the forties. You took me to five hit points in one freaking round, mm -hmm. minus the one minor hit I took. I think. The one minor hit I took, like in the first round or some, or the first time he did that. Huh. That yeah, he. I was at five. I mean, I thought he was. That's why I thought you were gonna kill me when the staff blew. Did you drink your healing potion? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Everybody's because, healing potions were gone. Yeah, I took it after the uh, fight with um, because remember we got fireballed and such. So I took it after the fight with the uh, with the sorcerer. Shake and we had and the bake. heal pearl too. Yeah. We did oh. have the heals. No, we used and we we used that before we went into Io. Had you not had the heal scroll, yeah. I almost assuredly would have gotten one of you, if not. Mm. So I think I was already 
full hit points before the heal scroll because I just cast Cure Wounds on myself. And then after we got yeah. in, I don't think I ever used my healing potion. I don't... Not till the end, I think. You <laughs> used it at the end. I used it at the end after the, the story. <laughs> but T Taryn's down. I'm going to heal myself first. Yeah. <laughs> or oh. no, you, you, the knees is down. I'm going to heal myself. Well, I'm using a bonus oh. action here. Real action. Yeah, you guys are operating on the same <laughs> level. Go ahead, Chris. Roll that one now, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. And, I, and I'm thinking about it, you know, because, of course, when we made the roll for what actually happened to us, it was... It was after like a lot of them resolved. I'm thinking, oh my god, I know what friggin' Kyle would have to do to make that medicine check and like tourniquet and probably cauterize because her leg is probably gushing blood, like flipping. Crazy. I can cauterize. If I, I know that, I would have said, I'm just gonna start. I think I would have. If I'd known that that's what it was, I would have. I would have just probably been lying and said I was failing my uh, death Hello, saves. Darkness, I would have cauterized it, it sense. with my cantrip. Yeah. And then I would have used my other cantrip of mending to repair your pant leg so I could tie it up. <laughs> Done. I, New yeah. cantrips. Solve the problem. Hey, <laughs> although she was unconscious when he did that, so at least it didn't hurt. Oh, that would have brought you out of unconsciousness in a big way. Kyle, uh, oh, you, you already that. pointed out it wasn't really a melee fight. What else, uh, what else would have made it better? Uh, the general thing itself I think overall was pretty good especially if we were trying to hit that two hour mark with the sorcerer I think with us kind of screwing around with that we made that a little bit longer and a little bit yeah. worse than it necessarily had to be I'm on the personal side of we could have just killed her and been done with it in like two yeah. three rounds <laughs> Sorry. Although uh, she, uh, she was not a squishy either no, she um, had a lot of felt like it, especially when we turned around and just whack, whack, whack. She had, I think a lot she had of like hit 85 points. hit points or something. Yeah, yeah, she no, we it took That's a lot of squishy hits. to do it, <laughs> not by a lot, and it wasn't squishy to everybody else who was well more than me. Yeah, it's 30 over, it's almost 30 more hit points than I have. Yeah, so now let's let's go to a broader sense. Uh, mm -hmm. let's start with. Uh, Red Dragon Sorcerer. Well, 117 hit points. My apologies. Wow. Um, yeah, she was not squishy. Uh, no. <laughs> what was the worst thing about the campaign? Uh, we'll start with Ernie again and just keep going counterclockwise. So, worst thing about the campaign? Mm -hmm. Worst. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, All of it. <laughs> the first 42 episodes. Uh, uh, I think Taryn was personally the worst part about the campaign. Uh, no, I know uh, I mean, Taryn. Was, was, was too good. Yeah, so actually, let, let's start there. Um, <laughs> I knew one of you guys was going to say that. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally joking. But <coughs> I know. Uh, a very, very minor extent, uh, my character or maybe my play style is a little bit more impulsive. And I can tell that your play style <laughs> is you would rather think out of a situation or talk out of a situation. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, that was very hard to like get to work together in this game. Um, it was fun though, because it turned into me trying to rush the situation as much as possible to annoy everyone. Um, <laughs> I but, but, knew you were trying to but, do that, you son of a bitch. I'm but, coming for you. But Ernie, Ernie, truth be told, is that I think one of the things that that worked, why it did work, is because of that. We stayed true to who we were, and maybe in game, I I love you, man. So, and I like your impulsive style. Oh, I like oh. it. Your opposite. I hate it. It drives me apeshit. Yeah. I want to kill that's you. That's why. <laughs> that's why I love it, and I love the fact that it is different, and it keeps <laughs> me on my toes. Don't don't don't. I would say, don't apologize for being you. Don't don't ever second guess for being you. And I'm not going to second stop guess for being, being you. It. Don't ever stop bear. being you, man. <laughs> because I I think that's a very and it's also very murder hobo. I'm not as much a murder hobo. It's just, it's hard for me. But yeah, I mean, I like to as I said, I like to think outside of the box. I like to I like to use my own abilities, like my own ability to to come up with arguments and speak and stuff. To me, it's He's more. Old it's more satisfying player. to do that 
than just roll dice and have the dice resolve everything. Oh yeah. And I'm part of it, you know, Her and that's, that's why I am the way I am. For my character, it wasn't necessarily about accomplishing any goal. <laughs> uh, it was more of a, uh, making the situation the most exciting for me while keeping me in safety uh <laughs> that, that that was it uh but yeah what let's let's go back to what i didn't like about the campaign um one thing is when i play my characters i really really like it when i start to get to those middle to higher levels because it makes me feel like i can go into a town and like boss some people around and they're all like level one NPCs. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how Frank plays. Um, so even when you're level 10, well, everyone you encounter, they're still five levels ahead of you, like no matter what. Like that's how Frank plays. Um, that's so, how every GM plays though. I most well, of them no, do play like that. Not, not, not no, always. No, my PCs so, are always level, NPCs are level 20 from start <laughs> to finish. Well, so personally, uh, that's cool. And I understand that. And I've played with Frank for quite some time, but, uh, I have also experienced a game where there were regions, right? Like, oh, you don't want to go East. Those people are crazy. Right. And basically it's like, cool. You, your starting area, all NPCs are like level one through three. And then like certain regions are things that'll fuck you up if you're not prepared for Right. You just need no one to flee and when to like approach. But the cool thing is when you're in those, like, little villages of like level one NPCs, you can basically do whatever you want. Um, me, I thought that earlier in the game when I was low level, I felt a little rushed sometimes because I didn't feel like I could rest. And that was part of those things that maybe at least in the starting regions, it'd be cool if the NPCs were... Actually, the NPCs weren't too bad in the towns. It's more so when we were out of the towns. It felt like we were. You bum killed rushed. Rue McClanahan. I don't know who that is. <laughs> that was the that golden was... girl, the hooker. Oh, I that thought that was, was uh, Devereaux. Blanche. Yeah, Blanche Devereaux, Rue McClanahan. Oh. Wait, that was in Fink, right? <laughs> no. No, that was earlier. Oh, that was that. early. That oh, was no, earlier. Because you, you killed, killed somebody else in Fink. Fink. Yeah. See, I, I kind of want to just fuck around and I don't want repercussions while I'm low level. Well, and there were no repercussions because most of the time he got away with it. So. Yeah, that's true. Dice give it, dice take it away. Okay. Carol? So I do right. want to summarize okay. here. Okay. In sure. summary, I think that at low level, uh, it would have been nice if we had a little bit longer rest between the random encounters. Yeah. Um, because it was hard for us to find a spot where we all agreed to like, <laughs> let's hunker down, get our spells back. Let's think about what we want to do next. It was kind of like no, no time to think. Just like encounter, encounter, encounter. That's the only feedback. To be fair, some of you are like, hey, we need to rest. And others would be like, I'm going over here. And it's like. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I, I don't remember. Was my character one of the let's rest characters? No, he was not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're in a blame. Oh, I see hey, hey, you and Blake would be, hey, I'm not done fucking around with this merchant dude. While Kyle and Chris are like, hey, we need to rest, and then vice versa. And it's like, I... we were never on the same page. Yeah. Right. And, and that continued throughout most of the campaign because there was a lot of bitching about we just need to stop and rest and get situated. I'm, cool beans. I'm going to go look for X. And it's mm. like, uh. <laughs> yeah because once we got to a, a little town or something we all like scattered and we're like let's do all our own things and me i'm just like i'm going to the inn i'm hanging out to the at the inn oh someone's knocking the door i'm not answering that door <laughs> i'm a cat on a roof leave me alone yeah i'm watching this i want to watch and fuck people. with people from a distance but i want to be safe <laughs> and dewey kills <laughs> everybody right. in the cell next door <laughs> at the same time they deserved like, it what? they <laughs> deserved it they did and i helped they break violated, them out they violated man they violated them they did violate them uh mm. Carol, no I, miss rape i was no gonna say miss rape. you probably now okay so not that there was anything really bad about this campaign. Oh, you can't I want to offend me, so it doesn't matter. No, I, oh, up, you I think you you're. Gonna, I think you're totally going to know what I'm going to say because I think you know me well enough by now. I think it sort of goes along that it's, it's similar to what he said. Too too many. I think sometimes too many encounters. Mm -hmm. 
like, okay, I wanted to talk to them. And what do you do? You throw somebody else's so like, come on, man. You know, I just want to talk to them. I think I more time so the characters can RP amongst themselves. I think that would also help get people on the same page, at least character wise. You know, I, agree. I, I think that with that was an element that's missing from this. And I think it got better though. I love, I really loved when we get to Yaddle and everything from here on out, I think was fantastic. I mean, we had two sessions of nothing but RP too. Now, yeah. I like a balance. Actually, in spite of my going, I like to RP. I like to RP. I do like a balance. I like fighting and RPing. Um, but I, but that's the thing is, I felt like for a while there, the balance was definitely more on the sides of fights and such, rather than. So there, there were definitely times I wanted to talk to them, and there was just no time to do it. And I think actually, and this is just a tip, um, and we try to do in our groups is before we go to bed or take our rest for the day. The GM asks, is there anything you want to do? And you did do this a couple times in Yaddle, but it would have been kind of cool maybe when we were on the ship and, and such. You mean when some of you were in one in and I, Ernie was shacking up the bridal suite or Blake was off exploring? Yeah, I, well, uh, well yeah. I'll, I'll tell this you. This is I'll, why you can't be offended by anything we say. He can pin it all I'll, with us. I'll be honest. I. Yeah, I was, you, okay. in case you could tell, I was definitely a little exasperate, exasperated. I couldn't tell at all. Oh my God. When he, yeah. when he, when he so took funny. off, when he flipping took off into, into friggin' Yaddle. And it's like, you know, after we spent all the time apart and we finally get back together and then that was, he do? He takes off and it's all like. Right. He went with Lucas though. Lucas, yeah. no, yeah. Lucas, no, he dragged. He dragged. I got pulled Lucas. through a uh, dimension door, or whatever. Yeah, no, he no. You had to go willingly, though. Yeah, well, I like because the... I didn't want to fight him. Because the consequences, like when should we fight? <laughs> trying to take me somewhere, and I'm either going to go with him or honestly fight. <laughs> on, honestly, I didn't just. I agreed with what you did because it. You know, at least two of you together would be better than just him alone. You know, I it, and I was like fine whatever and it's, yeah that i think to, that to, to me is the worst part. but i said i think some of that could be maybe fine, whatever more i'm gonna get my hobos out so to be honest i regretted going with him later like I'm i sure wish i wish if i were to play this game again i would have definitely stayed with you guys then split off with perpetual because <laughs> perpetual ended up just when we got to a hotel leaving anyway so i'm like by myself alone but you in a, did get a plus one ring out of it so i did yeah I, yeah you were supposed to give to me <laughs> i know but i wanted it uh, actually you're but you were but but it makes but honestly it made sense to give it to you where you're you were fighting in the front lines why wouldn't i give it to you i yeah. should have done it but i opted not to uh yeah. Kyle, you're, you're gonna make a point go ahead I'm gonna make a point Oh, either that or what was the worst part? Oh, I was camera. going to uh, uh, laugh at the fact about the medicinal druid that came to the campfire outside. I was of gonna. Hey, uh, no, Frank, get, get, get out, out, out of here! Get out! But, but we want some Come of the in, spices. Cones. Get, get out. out of here, you druid! Well, remember all of our. <laughs> we got. Uh, you know what? It taken lost... away from us <laughs> earlier in the game. Yeah. You know. But uh, uh, as far as overall the campaign, um, uh, getting getting lost in the campaign itself was probably I found the least pleasant of it because uh, it was like a lot of points where we we're like, well, what what are we doing? Why is why is Dewey hanging out with this druid who cuts people's dicks off and wears it as a necklace? Or this changeling who that skins was one people. time, or this cleric of life who is murdering this silver merchant. You know, you found out at the end, though, why? Why what? Why you? You know why? I think the thing of it is, once we got rolling on the actual mission, which was to save the world, it's why Terrence sure. stayed with you guys. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you guys do a lot of things. She would, she would have friggin' been out of there probably, you know, if there wasn't such a huge consequence for leaving. Sure. I didn't realize I was the one who was supposed to friggin' wield that damn staff either. So that would have been uh, that could have been bad. 
<laughs> well, you weren't the only one who could wield it. We we already talked about that. Any three of you could have used that. Well, I am. I am. Do we just is, I the seem, druid? <laughs> I always seem That's to think. Fine. You, I didn't now, want to be on the front lines. I didn't anyways. think so either. <laughs> on it. Honestly, uh, although I know Frank could have changed it too uh, to make it fit, which I know you did more than once during this campaign. You changed the plot. Um, that was, <laughs> to be fair, twice. he kind of had to do that. because I know, I you guys fucked with We it. all were like, yeah, this is going to be a campaign, <coughs> entertaining, <laughs> murder hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, welcome to episode 487. They have now killed everybody in their 30th town. <laughs> Still don't know what they're doing. Evil I, has taken over the world, they but is going and hunting them down. <laughs> yeah, no. But so uh, once, once we get to the and mission... this epilogue, if it had gone the other way, would have been... And you see the dick... Of a druid half elf, a druid or a general eye a feathered dick. Eh? Oh god. Uh, okay, so what was the what was your best memory? Uh, start with Lucas again. Oh, uh, I have to think about this one. Um, Anybody have one before him? Then there's more than one. I mean, every time I about- ask for one. Favorite memory? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw one out. That way, all three of you can think. Right. Uh, my favorite was the moment of clarity that Ernie had when he discovered he blew up the bridge and was fucked. And <laughs> 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 there was, was no great. way to let the knees know. And it's like, ah, uh, and I'm just sitting there thinking, what in the? I, I, I even think I titled one of them. What the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, because uh, you're separated. Dewey's got two pieces of a fucking puppy, and he's mad at Maniz because Maniz doesn't have a gem. <laughs> and it's just like, why did you kill the f- naked fat guy? He was trying to defend himself. And I didn't him. kill the naked fat guy. The girls in no. The one. <laughs> the and person who like, killed the naked fat guy is not here right now. Oh, that's God. right. You helped. You held him down. I <laughs> replay. You can watch I, it. You I can know what I archive. did. <laughs> yeah, apparently you don't because the you word non-lethal were, multiple times. Teabagging, I think, was the phrase. You I had. know. If anyone <laughs> threw around the word teabagging, it would have been you or someone else. Kyle does not say teabagging. Kyle does not appreciate teabagging. You held him down. You, in I the eyes of the law, to tie just, him up. I was probably did Bushmill ever figure that out? Yeah. Oh, the you, letter, you, man. You mean? Uh, uh, yeah, no. Let's I see. Kyle, Kyle gave him a letter, and Taryn admitted to the JFK assassination in court. <laughs> Wait, what? When you were on trial and think, you admitted to everything. Yeah, I didn't. It was pretty rough. Luckily, you were wrong about a couple things. (laughs) Watch it. (laughs) Yeah, you spilled it. If I'm ever going to commit a crime, you aren't even my getaway driver. Wait, 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 wait. I she wasn't there. I didn't admit to anything. Oh, you you admitted to all of our other crimes. You need to rewatch it. (laughs) Actually. Dewey that makes... admitted to all of the other No, yeah. Dewey no, no, no. enumerated them in a nice letter. Honestly, I, I wasn't really and did. think I, I wasn't it up around. Just to make sure we had and, it. Uh... That was a very long letter explaining everything that happened. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. Okay, Ernest, uh, favorite thing about the campaign. Sorry all right. For the ending, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when we were in, I think it is Fink, where we had the giant elephant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that that was a lot of fun. Um, basically, we were all split up. I don't even remember where Maniz was, but Dewey was in the jail. I was a cat. Uh, Perpetua had Gambling. played poker as Beaverhausen? I yes. don't know. Yeah. And there's this giant elephant and the entire time I'm thinking, how can I make this elephant, you know, flip (laughs) out? And I didn't even need to do anything. So that was, that was great. I got to do my favorite thing, which is nothing. I got to do it from a a spot of safety and uh, I got to watch everything unfold around me. It was, it was great. 
At, meanwhile, as Dewey's fighting for his life and punching out my knees, who'd you punch um, out? So I or helped him with you? that. I did help yeah. him with that. Yeah, you went in, started stealing shit, ran down to help him as he's running up and he punched you in the face. Uh, oh, yeah, because I was in the stairway or something. Yes, and he was in no mood to wait. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I, either way, it was good. We, we stole from the quartermaster or something, and yeah. uh, witnesses saw us set the place on fire, I think, and then we <laughs> fled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the skill checks now. Are, <laughs> it's not my favorite part, but I'm laughing about it. All right, uh, you need to pick that door. <laughs> Give me a performance check using your personality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why do, why do I need to use charisma one. on this door? <laughs> I mean, that made it easy for me but to pick the friggin' wall. Perception you know, is finding the whore. Shit. Investigation is finding out she's a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, That's a great I think way Ernie was so pissed off about that, but I think if <laughs> oh, he was down, lit. I laughed. He was lit. It was I was hilarious. Yeah. Um, well, I because I <laughs> am a druid and I rely on wisdom, so I want things to be perception. As the intelligent barbarian, I had no issue with Well, fuck you. You should have hated performance. What was your charisma? <laughs> That's why I like that. <laughs> Okay, Taryn, uh Carol, what was your favorite part? Oh, come on. There's just too many of them. Uh, One! <laughs> Favorite. Oh, oh, come on. Um, <laughs> this is too many. Uh, double nat 20s to friggin' have a sister throw the sword through her shoulder. That was pretty impressive. That, that was pretty cool. That was good. I would say his letter to screw it. The trials. The trials were fun. And I still don't know what you're talking about because I didn't give him nothing. So it is in the archive, Carol. You can check that. I out. know what I said. I don't Emma need Lobo to. Inc. Archive. Yeah, I printed I mean, out your uh, answers to those questions too. <laughs> they were pretty. No, uh, no, yeah. uh, no. Actually, the only one here, right here. I have the qu- I have the answers to the questions. So the only he. one, and the only one I thought about like screwing anybody over was you know who blew up the bridge and that one was the one I was the hard, having the hardest time how to circumvent it until I realized oh yeah he was invisible I didn't see who blew up the bridge I may know who it was but I didn't see who it was you were face down pillow biting with a fat guy no <laughs> he was invisible Wait, and I, I was I didn't know Taryn that was point. the one who tried everything once every <laughs> minute <laughs> no. and no by that point she was free I was running to the bridge when he blew it up. Which you was were a threat. also awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I And it, the, the thing of it is, all I was thinking of doing was I needed to get somewhere away from the freaking... You shouldn't even been able to do it at that point either. It wasn't even your turn. But, uh, what, lightning bolt? Yeah, when you blew up the bridge, it was my turn. I'd been trying to blow up the bridge I, I for a while. You, I would have let you get halfway across. Uh, <laughs> but I would have, but I would, but I mean, but it worked out better anyway. So I went underneath the cart that I didn't know existed until that moment and hid from the archers. That's and all I was doing. Thanks to you, Dewey didn't die that day. Yep. Wait, did, did we all go back and kill everyone in Simon's Hollow? No. No. Uh, no. No. Chris, Chris had the uh, illegitimate child in Simon's Hollow. <laughs> oh, I didn't know ah, about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's I a. I, I wrote a soliloquy for Chris when you guys fractured, and uh, Chris actually went back to Simon's Hollow and met up with the hobgoblin lady whose roof he fell through and tried miserably to fix. Uh, they had a child, but both of them died from the plague, and that is when he took off to Fulton. Oh, it's actually wow! He had a, an a entire life story. there for a while. Yep, yeah, he, he did. sure did. Okay, Kyle, favorite uh, thing? Child would have looked like a fucking monster. Uh, half hobgoblin, Eric. Good thing Conkra. it's dead. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's like a green baby chick. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the small chick with the uh, frog horn leg horn with the glasses. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, we'll be fun. You know what? While Kyle tells us what his favorite part is, I'm going on an image hunt. <laughs> Go ahead, Kyle. Oh, uh, uh, Torgal Manor, I think, was oh. my favorite oh. thing. I did like that three possibilities <laughs> of what the future may hold. And I felt like that was a big turning point 
for the uh, uh, for the campaign in general because it was at that point we had been kind of murder hoboing, really fucking around. Let's go find a Pegasus. Ah, ah, we get to Torgal Manor. Um, I did enjoy the fact that you put some books in places everywhere, <clears throat> but then at Torgal Manor, that was a nice little gold mine there. Dewey got his one and only magic item throughout the entire campaign, a magic trammel. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that to work so bad in the last fight, too. You know what? Me really too. Did. And the fact that after I hit him with the Dremel twice, then the amulet went dead in my heart. It was Dewey who helped save Yeah, him. I'm good with that. Well, yeah, no. if we all fail our arcana check. Hey, weren't we supposed to actually we'll go back. over? Weren't we supposed to before we leave since it's almost like time? Or are we going over? Weren't we supposed to actually figure out what our characters were going to do? Yeah, that's yeah let's do that now. Do. It's getting late. <laughs> Uh, better start with Lucas then. Tell yeah, because I'm gonna be uncle. like, I'm wait, like I need my th- dice. I need like three hours to cover all my plot threads. Oh right. no, uh, you get gangrene and perish. <laughs> <laughs> Should no, have gone no. swimming in that river of dead people. I cauterized it. Remember? Yeah. No. Right. But pustules, <laughs> yeah, no. Pustules. <laughs> no, it was it was Do- Dewey did it, not you. Oh. Dewey's the one that did the medicine check. Wow. Dewey's the one that did the medicine check. Okay. Shit over Lucas's contributions, why don't you? Yeah, no kidding. So so here's here's how he brought me back. The end. Uh, It did work out to the fact where Lord Bushmill did enter with the shock troops. Uh, He did take possession of the two guards. Uh, and the city was effectively saved. Uh, unfortunately, Knowledge Hill and the library burnt to a crisp. You guys made no efforts to put out the fire. And now I can say no it, time. Lucas actually lit up Samuel Witt's body with a firebolt. <laughs> uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a firebolt. It was control flames. That's right. <laughs> and I, Because it was semantic. <laughs> and so I, I basically was the one who <laughs> caused him to engulf in fire. Yeah, so we got rid of uh, both Dewey's two dads, uh, effectively. Uh, The Gerogenous sect and the Cult of Sensua still have members. They're like the GOP. Uh, They're just running for their (laughs) lives right now. Uh, See, I'm wondering what happened with the library itself. It's like, okay, Samuel Witt was in charge, (coughs) and then he flipped. What the hell happened to the library? Gerogenous cult took it over. Oh, fuck. Was he now? He was he was tainted, right? Samuel. Yeah. Samuel was just a dick from the get go. Really? If I'm not mistaken. I write him up as a dick. I see. Get-go. I figured the staff led us to the library because he was tainted, and when he died, then it disappeared, and then we got directed to the right direction. General Io was responsible for killing Samuel Witt. And was there figured. when you? No, 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 no. Oh. And then as he left the staff directed you the other way. Uh, Ernie's uh, sole remaining uh, off Earth's re- relative is, of course, dead because while Manise did heal him, he did not neutralize poison. So the poison is seeping into the bay and will be killing all the fish there, <laughs> making it an effective dead zone. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh, Taryn, none of your family lived. and uh, Except for Rolf- one. No, no, no. No family. No, no, the brother is still up north. Dead. No, no, he was killed by the Death yeah. Walkers. He, he was killed by the Death Walkers and the dead dragon. Uh, what? Up north? Yeah, yeah that's where they come yeah. from. Watch a little GOT. We unleashed evil upon the world, Carol. What do you think was going to happen? There's a Dracolich oh, up there Lord. feasting on your brother's toes right now. Uh, you. your, your boyfriend, Rolf, was a traitor. Uh, he went up against uh, Lord Bushmill. And uh, while he did wound Lord Bushmill, he he did not last very long. Unfortunately, one of the bigger problems was the redundancy of aerial attacks from the ships smashed the jail, killing Ketchup Keat and everybody contained within, even on the lower levels, which is where your family was, where message could not reach. So they were all 
they were I'm, alive until I'm you gonna, were there and you let I'm them gonna, die. No, you I could have gone to the jail, freed them, and then went to the office. Like I said, oh. the, the last thing has a lot of skews. So if you <laughs> so, don't so, stay to the I thing, was really curious. It's what's... like, well, Samuel's obviously at the jail cell. The, the General Io's at the city hall. Who cares about the jail? <laughs> it's like jail no, I anyway. knew I had people there, but I thought <laughs> Frank kept saying her family's already dead. So I'm like, you know, um, but <laughs> yeah, well, here's the deal. Now, here's, here's what would have happened if Taryn had not lost a freaking leg. This is like Clue. Push, what push. really happened. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This is for funsies, and likely she would have got killed doing this, but she would have got, she, she absolutely would go after, she would go after Bushnell for killing everyone. You know, Peg, I think you might have bit off more than you could chew. It's I'm fine. You fight Bushnell. That. I'm tired of that guy. I I so want to, I want to mur- I want to murder that guy. because I, I will not help just, you. He's just as bad. Is he's only just as bad as I? I mean, originally the plan was you're going to attack the gates. You're not going to freaking throw a bunch of fireballs in the middle of the city. And I was like, "Got to return fire." And by the way, why was Taryn? All right, so let's get this. Why was Taryn's boyfriend such a dick? Because he was a drunk. Have you ever seen The Sound of Music? Oh, uh, I have seen The Sound of Music, but I don't recall Rolf, that. He he was enamored with the power. Oh, what? okay, so Rolf that's all. Wasn't hammered with the po- well okay no, yeah no. they're at the end remember yeah at the beginning be like he them was too. yeah you'll never be like them you aren't good enough <laughs> <laughs> so yes rolf and it, it was predetermined back before noctia died that who, okay that, so who that's what was gonna happen did okay so let's get in the question uh did um was i was the one totally responsible for setting me up or was it or was it her boyfriend? No, you uh who set her you up? You got set up by somebody else. He just let you out. Oh, he saw you the value. He had already see. met the twin sister and he was surprised to see you in the jail cell and he thought two was better than one, so that's why he released you. He huh. he, al- he always had more respect for not so you never it. you never got to who set me up. Nope, Damn I didn't. I okay, didn't flesh wait, out hold on, me. real quick. For my benefit here, yeah. What were you set up for? Murder, 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 murder yep. of who? So, Just a random ch- person. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I leave holes in that for the GMs to flesh out. But basically, she had she was a little place she liked to go to outside of town to compose music and such, and someone attacked her, and she won the fight and killed them. But that someone had an accomplice that knocked her out and we changed the scene, got rid of the weapon. Oh, you did murder blood. somebody. <gasps> you she murdered tried. someone. So it was so it was General so Lyo. it was so General Io's <laughs> fat naked son. Wait, 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 wait. Is Io is Io dead? He's oh, in the box. He's, he's in alive. the box. Oh, I thought. Oh, I see. I thought see, he was I would have thought since he was like was an a... old wise guy and then he grew into the big guy. I would have thought that he shrunk back down to the little guy with the evil in the box. And, and yeah. see, I was so hoping, and it pisses me off that I forgot. I got that. But having that goblin still in the box running around the main fight would have been hilarious. It oh, would yeah. have been great. He would have had I a mean... heart attack and died on the spot. <laughs> no, that that would have been funny. But yeah, he we let him out. He got let out in, in, Yaddle. in Yaddle with the meeting. And you killed him as Lord Bushmill. <laughs> yes, I did. You totally forgot. That was uh, funny. It yeah, was that I, was hilarious too, though. Yeah, I, I forgot that I killed him. Now, uh, <laughs> let's let's backtrack a little bit. What did you think of Turbuckle getting whacked? <laughs> I was before mad. You, I wanted more. Before you could give more information. That's the thing. I wanted more info. Um, oh no, but, I was getting tired but of that honestly, guy. So honestly, I yeah, it was it was was that even supposed to happen? So what happened was when Manise and Dewey dealt with them, and you guys did this a lot. You would, you know, you slaughtered the hobgoblins, but you would always leave strings lying yep. around. Uh, and this str- 
Like, like a tampon string. Thank you, producer. Uh, You're terrible. And, and I wanted you to just pull. Gotta pull. One of them. Yeah. So I wanted to pull one of them, and I thought, if you guys kill that asshole in the red mage's outfit, fine. And when you didn't, and you just, oh, sorry, you know, we're late. You know, we missed a bus, aka the red mage tried to kill us. Da 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 da. And you know, only Bushmill sent out some uh, scouts to find him. You guys just let it fly and i'm like ah, i'm gonna come back to let that one haunt him and then dewey's like oh, i'm gonna go talk to turbuckle and have him sign my book and i'm like oh good i could crush somebody else's soul with a death here uh, he <laughs> dies <Funk. laughs> i you know i don't because, the funny thing is i don't think i was ever really involved with that the wait wasn't it a monk it Not was a, a mage? monk it was yes, a monk. Uh, yes it was a monk not a mage we had a mage who helped deal with him yeah which yeah. i'm curious yeah. about and don't know anything about was that maybe a perpetua in disguise and then you had her disappear it was somebody called houdini w-h-o-d-i-n-i <laughs> and he talked like kobolds houdini <laughs> but you guys never got to deal with him uh turbuckle actually had in his possession five other books uh that you oh. not locate um three of them were useless one of them would have given you a good idea of the fight and one of them would have given you a good idea on the artifact so i think so we i searched out his the body artifacts. and then went and searched his office correct where were the two other books hiding uh they were in lord bushmill's office in the government's place why um, would you look there for him because he gave them to Lord Bushmill, knowing that the calamity was upon them, oh. and Bushmill took over the government. Yes, building. that that makes sense, I guess. So, sure, but you guys uh. did not exactly <clears throat> break well with Bushmill for the most part. So I don't try. understand why. I mean, yeah, now I want him. He I would mean, have known nothing if it wasn't for me. My favorite part was, or one of my favorite parts was uh, tearing off with Cola. And uh, her getting the illness and just causing Taryn nine kinds of fate. Oh my god! <laughs> so here's here's another. I was really surprised after that, since they were traveling so close in proximity, that you didn't actually stick that as if you had not stuck stuck enough stuff stuff to Taryn. I was surprised actually that the disease was not one of the things that you inflicted on on me. Was I'm there. sorry, Peg, I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> it's Eileen. Get it right, man. And I want a freaking, I want a battle wheelchair. Actually, I heard in um, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything that there are prosthetics. I'm sorry, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything or the previous book that was everything? Oh, sorry, whatever the hell. How many books have everything in it? Hey, Wizards of the Coast. Fucking think about your title. <laughs> Isn't there something you like that everything word. incorporated? I don't think you know what it means. <laughs> uh, acquisitions Incorporated. Oh, Acquisitions Incorporated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, they, they've you're, had too much IOK. You're thinking of Xanathar? Xanathar. Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that being said, uh, don't throw away your character sheets. Oh, what? good. But do you want to know where we all end up? No, I know where you're going to end up. It'll be a one shot. <laughs> oh, because uh, I'm gonna, I was going to end up on a different coast. I want to leave. Oh, That's I fine. was going to steal you and take you back to the library where we would build you a battle wheelchair because that's what the Library of Nighteeth does. You and I'll help make sure that the wheelchair instruments. <laughs> I'll make sure that the wheelchair is balanced. Do a do a peg leg with a roller skate on the no, end. No, <laughs> I no, I want the fucking wheelchair and. I mean, and with this probably a set of crutches so I can get upstairs. Uh, Unless, or is there a way you can build it so it'll climb stairs? That'd be cool. Uh, Joey is going to uh, take I don't want to be a wizard and cast grease underneath her every chance he gets. Sensor's floating disc. <laughs> I don't want to be. Um, I don't want to be a Dalek, an old Dalek, not the new ones that can actually go upstairs. We don't use racial slurs on this. <laughs> wow. So, Carol. so well, well, actually, in all seriousness, is that what you guys seriously do before she finds a way to take off in a room? 
It's going to be a while, uh, but it will be a one shot with you guys at 10th level because <gasps> Lord Bushmill yes. is going to have you see if you can put the box where it needs to be. Oh, in back in the one island. Baby. Oh, it's no. It's, it's not fucking... going to Ilsa because remember, that got caught in the volcano. If oh, they don't yeah, fucking right. murder him first. And so not to do, uh, not we need happy. to get the giant eagles and it'll end real quick. That's right. It'll be 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, and not that we do <laughs> because we normally don't, but I would not be surprised to have you guys find a book on the uh, origin story of that, where I don't know a certain individual who might've visited cacophony, maybe planted that fucking box. You mean, <laughs> you mean a certain professor that's no crossovers no crossovers. no crossovers but yeah for you guys you guys are well beyond that timeline that that does not even come yeah in. I, I but, yeah that. make your characters 10th level who knows maybe there's a one shot in your future uh and maybe then i can fucking kill you because you never did deal with uh, a dragon directly See. That's the thing. I feel like there's a lot more you could go with these characters. Oh, and there. there is. And I, I this is it. Guys pissed me off so bad. I just rolled hit dice for the character. I got a 12 on the die. I'm now at 150. <laughs> so I just realized I can turn into an elemental at 10th level. Ooh. This will honest, be fun. Honest to God, I just, I just think. There's, as I said, there's so many more places we could go with these characters, and I said, just be, and I, I would, you know, I'd be great for a long break, and then to start a tenth level campaign and go to twenty. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I want. And make sure all those NPCs are level one. (laughs) I want to fucking slaughter everyone. Thousand points of light. Read my lips. Not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, maybe it, I might open the door if they're level one and I'm level ten. That's a possibility. Uh, actually, I'll pro- remember. That's what I do. I open the door for you. You, you know what? That was oh After my she god. That's into kind of lot. sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was. By the way, that was a favorite moment of this entire campaign. When the one time you opened the door in Yada, I got fucking attacked you got immediately. <laughs> that was great. You were right. <laughs> the whole time and i'm like i'm dying inside because i'm like oh my god it just proved him right he should yeah. never open a door oh, that is i love that moment that it said sometimes this game is funny and it's that's why i think i love it so much it's because all the dice have a sense of drama I absolutely yeah. believe that. I mean, the double nat 20s. <laughs> oh, the double nat 20s to stab you would have only been better had I done super damage against yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Maybe I... missing an eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I let it go to a scar, okay? So, I mean, at least there's that. I know. No, don't do missing an eye. Ooh. Oh, no. Well, I'm I missing know, a I know scar. Carol, pirate. <laughs> I, I know Carol doesn't like Lord Bushmill. However, no. Lord Bushmill is a military <laughs> man. He is is not a governor. He is going to turn over uh, Sedilis to the seer uh, to go ahead and run. He will maintain and rebuild the army to go ahead and fortify it against enemies, both domestic and foreign, for anybody listening out there. Uh, and he will defend it well. Dewey already knows that his home country is apparently slaughtering Menezes' people as well as Lucas's people. Uh, there is so, so much well, more that there is Are covered. they slaughtering Lucas's people from way up north? No, there's a, if you look at the big map that I sent out for the next campaign, uh-huh. they straddle Andorra. Wow, you um, there is so much more. I didn't even think about that. You do. Have I was a lot gonna more. say, uh, one thing I was disappointed about I made this beautiful library. I had it never was got a to beautiful, see it. super <laughs> oh, lots no. of scrolls at top, and down below was the most dangerous, malicious, not malicious, well intentioned, destructive mechanisms ever built by gnomes and creation. It was a war machine, but just for religious uh, uh, ideas. Uh, I did like it, that we had the angry derogenous sect, though, who was I, I think it wasn't a war machine. They just made machines of destructions. Yeah, uh, uh, That was the dangerous dungeon of the teeth. If we ever got in that direction, I figured that, that, that is something. still in play with Campaign 2. Uh, uh, is that the escort one that... <laughs> 
Well, and that's going to be our segue. So, folks, uh, with the end of the Sedillus campaign, we are going to do another campaign. Yay! <laughs> it will start at first level. I am currently working slash sketching out slash vilifying three different campaign arcs. Uh, each one is different. One of them is really my favorite. Uh, but once we get the panel seated, we will have them decide which one they want to do. <laughs> if you, uh, it's probably the same one that I like. Uh, if you want to join that campaign, please hit us up, mhobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail. Uh, we will put you on the list. It will be a random draw. I think I am up to six so people right now. That's so random tired. draw. Dice giveth, dice taketh away. Uh, but I want to play. Uh, otherwise, I would have fucking killed you. Fudge the dice, then. You make the dice that he rolls with. <laughs> All right, it's waited to be on Kyle. I, I, just so you know, I plan on playing a lawful character next time, a warlock. <laughs> I promise. Bullshit. <laughs> no, I actually already have it rolled up. <laughs> So apparently she doesn't like the same one I do. I really, I really like mine. Uh, but folks at home, if you're interested in doing it, it's going to be every Saturday night. Uh, and it's two-ish hours. Uh, every other Saturday night. Every right? other Saturday night. And it will continue to run until it reaches its. Dice giveth, dice taketh away. Uh, folks, uh, Manise couldn't be here because he's passed out or in Canadian jail. We aren't really sure. There might have been uh, legal entities that uh, have who scout him. Uh, maybe Trudeau kicked in his door and gave him a beer and then took him to jail. Forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle clipping the wings on my knees was a giant pain <laughs> in the ass for my knees, especially when he didn't know. I take off flying. Uh, Oh, no nope. problem. Uh, but yeah, I, I did end up having a good time with the campaign. It was a little bit strenuous early. <laughs> uh, side note, folks, uh, these guys petitioned me to make a real gung-ho fantasy heroic kind of thing. And Don't you throw us under the bus, Frank. Two episodes you were just in, as involved as we were. Motherfuckers screwed not for Pooping me. Pooping in people's mouth. Uh, it was not, a to be fair, you're the one who's like, get... you know what? Let's see if you poop in someone's mouth. You do. Dice oh it, my dice gosh. taken away. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was your idea, and then you decided to see if the dice would agree with your idea or not. Menezes, can I poop? No, he didn't, did he? You know, no, Kyle, no, if you go to the check, you are all right, Tom, M. Hobo Inc. Archive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but, folks, uh, we had a really good time. Uh, yes. It was 43 <laughs> episodes. It, it, it was strenuous, but you know what? You guys got to 10th level. Everybody lived, uh, even Eileen. So <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh but folks uh thanks for joining us on this special between the roles uh because we had to recap it because taryn had to know that she had, she had a chance to save her family and chose the greater good that's because he kept saying they were all dead so but honestly no we just with, uh, with okay, when he's being dead we gave his armband to taryn <laughs> would uh would you have gone I, to the jail if you thought there was a chance yeah, uh, if because thought... you would have failed, you would have failed the quest. No, then no. If we would, if there wasn't enough time to go there, then no, I could. Then all your family died because of you. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I saved. Wait, oh, I, I saved the world, man. I mean, but not you your know. family. Oh, right, oh, guys, they, let's yeah, end this right it's now. It's a satisfying. <laughs> Everybody, it's satisfying. hey. Saturday, first of the December one shot, six level pre gen characters. We're going through six. how the Grinch, six level characters. Okay. Yes. So we're going Frank. with how the Grinch stole Christmas. God, it's uh, going to be oh, three hours long. I'm really trying for two hours. That's why I haven't written anything. But uh, that's that. Everybody <laughs> wave. Good night. Enjoy follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. <laughs> if you want to shoot the shit on our Discord channel, go ahead. If you want Shut to buy our really cool stuff, quick. 
it's down there. Uh, also, if you want to listen to us without looking at us, tinyurl.com, mhobo inc. Audio. Uh, the producer is. Jesus. What's up? Goodbye. I'm pretty sure that's how the queen waves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Frank, I guarantee you, if you gave me an option to save my uncle or save the world, I would have.